Democrats will also go to the polls on Super Tuesday. But before that, the South Carolina Democratic primary takes place tomorrow. Presidential candidates Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton have been campaigning in the state. And on Wednesday, a Black Lives Matter activist interrupted uh, Democratic presidential candidate Clinton during a fundraiser in a private home in Charleston. During the event, Ashley Williams held a banner reading, quote, we have to bring them to heal, a reference to controversial statements Clinton made in 1996 about some youth whom she called super predators. Williams then confronted Clinton, saying, quote, I am not a super predator. Super predator, Hillary Clinton. Okay, fine. We'll talk about it. apologize to black people for mass incarceration? Well, can I talk? And then maybe you can listen to what I say. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Um, there's a lot of issues, a lot of issues in this campaign. I know that you okay. called black people You're super predators in 1994. Let, let, please let, explain let, the record. Let, You're the first person to ask me, and I'm happy to address it, but you are the first person to ask me here. Um, okay, back to the issues. Yes. That was Black Lives Matter activist Ashley Williams confronting Hillary Clinton at a private fundraiser Wednesday night. She was then escorted away. Williams says a friend contributed $500 so she could attend the private event. The protest was in response to controversial comments Clinton made while speaking at Keene College in New Hampshire in 1996. And the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heel. Well, on Thursday, Hillary Clinton expressed regret for her choice of words. In a statement to The Washington Post, she wrote, quote, In that speech, I was talking about the impact violent crime and vicious drug cartels were having on communities across the country and the particular danger they posed to children and families. Looking back, I shouldn't have used those words, and I wouldn't use them today, she said. Well, Ashley Williams' question to Clinton and the candidate's responses generated an online discussion about Clinton's changing stances over the years using the hashtag WitchHillary. For more, Ashley Williams Williams joins us herself from Charlotte, North Carolina. Ashley, welcome to Democracy Now! Describe what took place on Wednesday. Uh, you went to Charleston, South Carolina, to a— was this a private home? Yes, this was someone's private home, Amy. And talk about what you did. Um, so this was a high-value fundraiser at someone's private residence in Charleston, South Carolina. And um, there was someone who kind of introduced Hillary and talked about the ways in which she has shown up for racial justice for the state of South Carolina in the past, in terms of the Walter Scott case and um, the Charleston shooting. And then they talked about how she supported um, body cameras in the state of South Carolina. And then Hillary began to speak. And soon after she began to speak, I interrupted her for the purpose of addressing her um, inconsistencies with her record, I wanted to know which Hillary Clinton can we trust today? Is it the Hillary Clinton from 1994? Is it the Hillary Clinton from 2008? Or is it this refined Hillary Clinton that allegedly shows up for racial justice that we know in 2016? I'm just not sure that we can trust her um, and the things that she's saying today. And, uh, Ashley, now that you've heard of the, the response of Clinton in The Washington Post, do you think that there's been uh, some recognition on her part, or is this just a public relations attempt to dampen uh, the impact of your protest? Yeah, so I'd like to say that I think that her response is insufficient, and it doesn't really address my real concerns. She apologized specifically for her word choice and the words that she chose to use, but I want her to apologize to black people for mass incarceration. I want her to apologize to black communities and other communities of color for supporting the policies. So not just, like, using specific words, but supporting those policies. That is what I want from her, and that's not something that I've seen at this point. Ashley, what kind of response did you get from other people at the fundraiser, or were you taken right out? Um, people were saying that I was trespassing, people were saying that I was being rude, and people were saying that I was being inappropriate. And, and was there any attempt by anybody in the Clinton campaign to reach out to you afterwards at all? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what you want these candidates to address right now? Uh, not only Hillary Clinton, uh, Bernie Sanders, also the Republicans. Yeah. Um, I want each um, 
candidate to address the inconsistencies that may exist with their record, especially in terms of um, policies that affect communities of color and black communities and mass incarceration. But I, I want to say, Amy, that I think that like the voters have a responsibility as well. So it's not just the candidates that need to kind of reconcile their records for us or explain themselves to us, but it's our job to look for these inconsistencies and the consistencies, and it's our job to make an informed decision at the polls at some point. Ashley Williams, I want to thank you very much for being with us. Last question, and that was, Hillary Clinton said you're the first person to raise this with her. What exactly what she, was she saying, and um, did that surprise you? So I don't think that what she's saying is true, and I don't think that I'm the first person to have asked her this question. I think that black communities and communities of color have been asking her these questions for 20 years, Amy. And I also think that she's had 20 years to, like, answer these questions. Um, and at this point, like I said, we don't have any answers and we don't have an apology, which is what we really deserve. Ashley Williams, Black Lives Matter activist who interrupted Hillary Clinton during a private fundraiser Wednesday night in Charleston, South Carolina, South Carolina, where the Democratic presidential primary will take place on Saturday. Thanks so much for joining us.